So this is going to be a quick unboxing, install, and review of the Wolfbox G840S 4K mirror dash cam. This thing is gorgeous. I was skeptical at first. I didn't know how crazy the install was going to be, but it comes with everything that you need, including a tool to tuck the wires in, which we'll get to later in the video, GPS tracker, a nice cloth to clean it off. Like I said, it does come with everything that you need. So the first step is to take it out of the packaging and use these little rubber straps to then attach it to your existing rear view mirror. This is not very difficult. You'll notice mine's a little bit off center just because of that black bulbous piece on top, but I actually don't think it looks that bad. And from my angle as a driver, you can't even tell. So now let's give power to it. We're going to use the cigarette lighter. You can also hardwire this, but it's pretty simple. You just plug it in at the top, and then this is going to vary by car. I'm driving a Jeep Grand Cherokee here, but you can use this helpful tool to tuck it in between your windshield and the headliner. And then also on the side, there's some side paneling. In this Jeep, it was actually pretty darn easy, especially with that rubber stuff that I'm doing right there, kind of the weathering, weatherproofing on the door. That was the best stuff to do it with. So I just was very careful and tedious, went around, made sure that it was fully inside, and I really cannot notice it, which is super nice. You can see that I went along the door panel there and continued to tuck it in and then just did it underneath my seat. So there's a little bit of wire. I'm planning on attaching it underneath just with a little bit of tape or a zip tie or what have you. Um, and then I plugged it into my cigarette lighter and then it turned on. So once it's on, then the forward facing dash camera will come on. There's a bunch of different settings. This is set to start recording as soon as I get in the car and turn it on. You can also turn that off. And then there's gonna be that film that you take off. So now that the front camera is good, let's figure out the back camera. And it's the same thing, as simple as really plugging it in. The nice thing is this one is on a swivel so you can adjust it. And then I plugged it in at the top there. That's going to be the backup camera or the camera on the back. And then the same thing just on the opposite side. So tucking that cord using that tool and your fingers underneath the panels and on the side panel. This one's going to be slightly different because it's going to be going all the way back to the back of the car. Again, it'll vary by car, but I did not have trouble on my Jeep completely hiding this wire from front to back. And I believe that most cars you'll be able to do that, which is pretty cool. So you can see some of that piece is plastic. Some of it's the headliner. This was honestly the easiest spot. I could just do this with my fingers the whole way. Didn't even need to use the tool which was pretty cool so you can not see it there <laughs> and then the only kind of little trouble I had was in the back I'll probably end up fixing that but I kind of had to go through this seam and since it's black and the uh, plastic piece of my car is black you can't really see it but then I went down in the back and then I ultimately kind of had to pull up that little rubber piece in the trunk again this will vary by car but you're going to have some extra wiring so I just tried to tuck it in basically underneath in this little slot between the rubber and the metal and then found a good spot drilled a couple of quick holes with the backup camera and you can see that I just drilled into the back there with very small holes made sure that the trunk actually closed and then boom that's my favorite view you can see the front and back there's a ton of customizable settings which is really cool the quality of both cameras i was very impressed with immediately and like i said there's just a bunch of customization that you can do so the nice thing is too that when this turns off it actually does act like a normal rear view mirror which is really nice so if you did want to simply unplug this or ultimately turn it off and just have it act like a simple rear view mirror again you can do that so the amount of options that you have on this thing for the price. I just think it's absolutely exceptional and I highly recommend it.